Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick flip through of my cute little pocket. So if you are interested in seeing what's inside, please be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. Like I said, I am going to be doing a quick little flip through of my pocket size planner. I absolutely am in love with this pocket size, which is so funny because I didn't think that I would ever be able to utilize such a tiny planner. So in case you haven't seen, I don't know where all this glitter is coming from. Um, in case you have not seen a pocket size planner, here's a size comparison. Now I do have, you know, a decent size hand, <laughs> um, but you know, obviously it's not as big as a, you know, normal size planner. So this is so tiny. It's literally, I mean, it wouldn't fit in my pocket, but I suppose if you're wearing like cargo pants, it could totally fit in there. Um, I do carry a fanny pack <laughs> when I go on my walks in the morning. And it does fit inside a fanny pack, so that just kind of gives you an idea. And then if you have a crossbody bag um, that's a little bit wider, it fits in that size as well. So I absolutely love it. It's portable. I can literally take it with me. I literally take it with me everywhere I go. Um, and it's just been a phenomenal addition to my planner life. So currently I am using this pocket size planner. I do have like the classic HP size planner that I use as kind of like my command center that stays home. And then I am also using my Archer and Olive A5 bullet journal. And that also stays at home. And I've been using that for faith planner, faith planning. So this one is just like my everyday carry. Um, so as you can see on the front, it is this beautiful black um, croc pattern and this is from Moterm. This is my absolute favorite pattern from like all planners because even the one that I purchased from um, Notique is also a black croc. I do use that one for my sorority. So shout out to all of my ATO sorors that are watching this video. Hey! Um, so anyway, I do use that as my sorority planner, but that's not something that I have to use all the time. So um, anyway, so this is one of the Ollie clips, which is super cute and like the rose gold. Um, and then I did go ahead and change the rings for mine. It came with the silver 19 millimeter rings, but I traded these for, I think they're 24 or 20, I don't know, 20 something millimeter rings. And I purchased these from Amazon. Um, the Moterm planners do have this particular one has the pocket in the front, which I keep like my ID and, and, um, insurance cards and things in there and then you have your larger pocket and pocket in the back which you can see i have cash and receipts and then um there is another pocket back here which i keep a couple like credit cards debit cards and then um this cute little clip came from um uh, where did this come from um Hmm, let me think about it. This clip came from Simply Shantae Renee's shop. You know, she's my planner bestie. Of course, we have a pin loop here, which normally I have a pin in there. I need to figure out where I put it. And then I have some of these little um, cotton drops that came from cloth and paper. I just cut them so that they fit in here. And gosh, where did this come from? Oh, Erin Condren. Um, when she did the Hello Kitty um, collection, that is from Erin Condren. And so I will go back to the front. Oh, and then of course we have the fly leaf, which also has um, some debit cards in here. And these are the ones I use the most often. And then the ones in the back are ones I don't really, you know, gravitate towards. I have another Ollie clip. This particular name I created on the silhouette. Um, and then I just put a piece of clear acetate on the front just to kind of protect the name. This. Um, dashboard is from, let me go look, Creatively Planned. Um, I purchased these from her shop on Etsy. This vellum came with another planner that I purchased, um, a girl named Kia. She gave this to me. 
Um, I believe she gave me this one as well, which I love because growth is my word of the year. So I absolutely love this. I think she gave it to me. If not, I don't know. I printed it and just stuck it in here. I don't remember. I know for sure she gave me this. Um, and this is from Planner Press. And then this is actually just a piece of cardstock from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's part of the LOL collection. And then this is a piece of vellum that I printed using Canva. And it just has this really pretty like beachy scene. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I like the pink background. I am really digging this line art. So I also printed this using Canva. And these images I did find on Pinterest. Um, and then this one has an LV, which is very light. Not sure if you can see it, but I just thought it was cute, like a cute little overlay here. Some more line art. Um, this came from Cat Espresso. Um, the pocket, I believe, did as well. And then I think this is one of the freebies that came with it. So I just stuck it in there because I thought it was cute. This came from, who did I say before? Creatively Planned. Also super cute. Um, this is actually a post-it note from Simply Gilded. It was in one of my subscription box. So I just stuck it to this piece of, um divider and the dividers are funny because I actually purchased these dividers from um, Fancy Plans Co. It came with a planner and since I'm not really using that particular planner anymore I decided that I can kind of you know take it apart. So I took some of the dividers and just cut them down to size and put them in here um, and then these stickers that I use to label them are from Happy Planner which I need to replace them because they're like peeling up because of course I didn't take the time to cut them down because I was so excited. Um, here's another monthly divider that I created, just a piece, piece of um, vellum. Here we have this Celebrate. This is one of the journaling cards from Simply Gilded. I just cut down to size. This is actually one of the um, labels from Creatively Planned. When she sends you your um, inserts, it comes with these little like dividers with them. So I just went ahead and um, cut, you know, I didn't have to cut this. I just punched it and stuck it in. Um, now, what's funny is, well, no, this was already punched. I had originally written this, which is like my little key for um, the dots, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I wrote it on the front and I was like, oh, I don't really like that. So I just took some stickers and covered that up just to, um, you know, hide what I had written there and then wrote it again on the back because it actually makes more sense back here. So now you can see on my monthlies from Creatively Planned what each of the little dots mean. Now it won't really matter which color they are um, because I do have some different color dots from um, cloth and paper that I'll be using as the months go on and I run out of these. But I know that no matter what, and a, a square is always gonna be any point, an appointment or event, and then a circle is always gonna be a birthday. So I like this little fold out. I went through and kind of numbered them all this week, um, but I like, you know, how those look. Um, this is another one of those dashboards that I created from cloth and papers um, items. This is a simply gilded piece of vellum that I just cut down to size. Creatively planned, sent this super cute little um, die cut to go along with my order. I don't know where this planner queen little die cut came from but i thought it was super cute this is a piece of simply gilded like one of the notepads they sent i just thought it was pretty as like a little background color and then this planner babe card was also given to me from kia when i purchased a um, pocket size planner cover from her um, this is a dashboard that i created and then this is the weeklies that came from creatively planned that i'm currently using so as you can see they kind of look like this and i think they're super cute um, and then I purchased, well, no, I made this today tab again using one of the ones from, um, um, why can't I remember anything today? This came from Fancy Plans. Um, and so instead of using it as a, as a side tab, which they came, I just flipped over and cut it that way so that it was a top tab. So those are the weeklies there. And then these are stickers from, or not stickers, post-its from Simply Gilded. Um, this little um, divider here came from Kia. She gave it to me with the other things. And so I just stuck those on there. They didn't stick very well, so I did have to put a glue dot. So I may stick some more on the back just so that doesn't 
see this little blue thing here will decide later. Then I have a few dailies that I keep in here also from Creatively Planned. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. So I have anticipated using just the weeklies, but like today, I have an incredibly busy day. So I'm going to just throw a daily in to, you know, really kind of focus in on the day so that I can um, be sure not to miss anything. So I won't be using the dailies probably every day because I really don't do too much, especially not now that we are home for summer break. Um, so maybe when school starts back, I'll have more things. But in the meantime, I'll just be kind of pulling those in when I know that I have freakishly busy days. Um, but I love the paper quality. I think everything is really nice. I tried to print some on my own and I did find some super cute printables, but um, I kind of like the idea that these are already printed and punched and ready to go and I don't have to do any work. So this is another piece of vellum that I um, printed off from Canva. Um, and here is, I'm sorry, I got all, again, I got all of the images that I printed using Canva from Pinterest. I don't, I think I keep messing up when I say that. Here's another cute line art that I found and I just thought it was really pretty layered together. This is another one of the um, dividers from Fancy Plans. Another piece of vellum from Simply Gilded. Another, um, you know, divider that I created. And Kia sent this to-do list. I'm not sure where it came from, but I just thought it was really pretty. Um, this line art I love because it kind of makes me think of me and my husband. Super cute. Um, this came from Mirna Plans. It's one of her um, printables and I just printed it double sided because again, I just love line art. I took some paper from one of the Happy Planners like filler paper and just cut it down to size. I like to use these for note paper or lists and things like that, especially like grocery lists, because I don't actually need an insert for that. I can literally just write on this and I'm fine. Um, this is another piece of vellum that Kia sent. Um, I created this just with my name on it and I might switch this one and the one I have in the front now just periodically for a different look. And then I have some um, more like page flags. The, this one came from cloth and paper. These two are simply gilded. And then these, this is cloth and paper. And then this is another one of the, div the um, yeah, dividers that Kia sent. So that is it. She is nice and chunky. I absolutely, like I said, love, 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 love this. I've been sticking a, um, just a regular like, pretty ballpoint pen in here. Let me grab it. Um, because it's really easier for me to use. And then, I mean, if these get lost, it makes me sad, but not as sad. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the planner, but I think it's okay. They work out. Um, and again, if it falls out or if it gets lost, I'm sad, but not very, very sad. Um, and then the ballpoint just to me seems to write better on those transparent flags and things like that. They just write better than like the, um, you know, gel pens or anything like that because those just smear. So, but anyway, this is the pocket planner. I absolutely love it. Um, I would love to know what size planner it is that you're using and what are you using it for. And also, um, if there's anything in here that you know as a pocket planner that I'm missing that I could totally add because I'm so incredibly new to this. Um, but yeah, leave that in the comments below as well to let me know. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.